Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana and today we're back with another part of the 100 baby challenge. I have taken a few days off but not from playing and I just noticed my doors are two different colors. Okay, that's strange. <laughs> if we uh, need a recap, this is where we live now because I um uh the ho oh you're right the house was messed up well nana if i don't even know like who is going to know wow this tree is custom content i think and it's so nice i love it oh yeah i was working on something in the background oh this this world is honestly gonna take so long do you see how many oh my god maybe i should just give up <laughs> so i'll keep uh, my promise, I'll stick to my words. We're going to age up the children today. I think they're all in a good mood. They're almost all in platinum, which is great. So what I'll, I'll do, okay, so first of all, oh, we have money. So many things happened, but how about I age them up first and then we'll just talk a little bit about what happened off screen. Now I've learned from trying to age them all up together, that means no cutscene is coming. So let's just do one and then go from the first board. He has six days, but like I said, you guys, for the baby challenge, I usually speed them up when they've done quite some accomplishments and or they have some accomplishments and he does. He's an A+. Plus. Most of my children actually are A's or A pluses and technically, according to the rules, if your kid is an A plus student, you can age them up whenever they want to. Mm -hmm. Or whenever you want to. Not they. You want to. Mm -hmm. that's, 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 the wrong, that's the wrong kid. That's what happened when we have so many kids. But anyway, we have one kid completely done. So let's head over here and we can't. I forgot. Oops. So I have to time this um, well. His birthday is in six days, right? So we're going to have to do three days older. And then it's a little bit tedious. I'm sure there's better ways, but whatever. I want it. So mm -hmm. if I didn't care about the cutscene, I would definitely not go through this effort. But I do I do really care about the cutscenes. Guys, now you can place your bets right here. Do you think these children will look better or worse as a teenager? Because honestly, they don't look horrible as a kid. But uh, they... I feel like with custom sliders, I've said it so often, with a custom sliders, I find that the face is just so compressed when they're a kid and when they're a toddler that they either look really good as an adult or like totally different because their face is just, I don't know. Cutscene, come on. Is there even a cutscene for a kid to know there's no cutscene? Oh my God, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Turn to blow out the candles. Let's just get that done. Let me see. Let me see what he looks like. We're going to take a little... M he is actually pretty cute. Now, maybe the eyebrows are a little bit like, mm, not suitable for my ta my taste of man. But let's see. Jason Siler Race is no longer a child. What will he aspire to be? Now, let me see. He's into aliens with black hair and he hates hardworking people. Now, he's probably a wisdom sim... He wants to know, well, it's hard to say, but he wants, yeah, he wants something with aliens. So let's get this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. He's going to be a knowledge sim. Whoa, whoa. Okay. If I had to describe the period of my life, it was poor. Besides Jason, he's like, I feel great. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> if I can keep feeling this good about life, I'm sure the sky's the limit. I'm honestly so happy about this, you guys. You don't even know. You don't even understand. If you see my last season, you know just how poor, how poor it went and how incredibly much, um, how incredibly much of my time I just spend not taking care of my kids and being mad and frustrated I couldn't give them the attention and now I feel like things are going so well and my kids are loved and happy and good in school and oh it's just going so nice and we have money holy fuck we have a working house and we have money and you know what this is 16s that means we're gonna have more money oh yeah I okay I predicted this one second oh shit have you guys seen the new mod that I have that um well, if Mara wants to come here and demonstrate what the mod does exactly, 
Oh, one second. Like fat people, chick? unemployed people, and someone that's a great cook can just walk off, walk away, live your life, girl. So I think she is a pleasure sim. She doesn't like cooking. She doesn't like working. Yeah, that's the mod. Yep. Now I. I, let me take a look at her tattoo. So her tattoo, that's not the only thing we're looking at, but let's ignore it. All right, okay, we'll take a look at them later. We'll just dive into their personalities. But next up is Dan. I feel kind of bad for Dan because he's just standing here and everyone else is just enjoying the cake. But of course he can count on his little friend. Hey, Bailey, call me, girl. Hey, Danny boy, show me. What do you look like? You know, I have to admit, I, I honestly, I have to, he's like, yeah, bitch, I'm fat as fuck. I have to admit that my sims all really look similar. Like, they are fraternal triplets, might I say. Uh, I'll talk about it later. He, 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 wow, okay, he doesn't like logic people. He doesn't like, I guess, oh, I can choose. Oh, but I like to keep it random. So he likes fat people and hats. Doesn't like logic people. Perhaps he also likes pleasure. Just not a lot of logical thinking. He just does. He grew up well. I think they all grew up well. Okay, I'm super, super happy about this. All right, next. So let me see who is next. I think it was Daisy. Where's, where's our girl? Daisy? Okay. We have a... What even is in the fridge? Okay, Jesus... Chorizo? Salami? What's that? <laughs> so leave your votes down below. Do you think Bailey's kids are going to be cuter than, um, what's her name again? Carrie's children. So take a good look though. Just, just take a good look. This is Carrie and this is what her kid looks like. Not exactly, you know, but I can always tweak them a little bit, but sometimes just makeup and hair does wonders. All right, let's see if Daisy is, um, has won the, the jean jackpot just like her mom or if they don't even look like her i if i'm betting anything it says she's going to have tattoos I don't actually have the same which is really nice because as you can see her right arm is completely empty and hers isn't so they actually have different tattoos i'm happy about that you know because the odds of actually not having is just so small let's take a look at um daisy hmm Okay, so she doesn't like painting. She likes mechanical. Um, she likes a hard-working person that's not very creative. So a straightforward person. Just so I think fortune, hard work, straightforward. Yeah. Okay, that's our girl, a Daisy. We do that. Let's just um. Ugh, I look. I need some space. It's it's crazy. I need some space. I need to start cleaning up some some stuff. Okay, so oh no, actually there's two people left. So we have Daisy. I got one cake too too much. Okay, so next would be Leon and then Craig. And it looks like both of them need a few things done. So let's just do that. Okay, so they're barely making it um or they're ba barely making it. They're barely alive. <laughs> but but let's get them over here and uh get the last birthdays over and then just focus a bit more on you know actual gaming all right our last two birthdays i really need to get mom and uh bailey in some other outfits because this is getting uh, a little bit too too much so our two last victims have aged up they should be very happy Okay, so he doesn't like creative people. He likes education, formal wear. Um, you sound like a knowledge boy. I don't know why. It just sounds like a knowledge boy to me. And what about your brother? Okay. He likes good smelling people, black hair, and he doesn't like hats. That doesn't tell me anything. But maybe he just is very... Popularity. Yeah, sure. Why not? Do you know how long it took me? to get six cakes completely <laughs> what am i trying to say here it took me a damn long time to eat get it well i wanted to save the cake that's basically what i was trying to do i had to get a piece and then i had to eat it and then stop eating it and putting it in the fridge and it took seriously forever and i'm just so happy that i'm over it's over i'm done with it oh oops 
Okay, let's 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 get the mail guys. Let's get the mail and let's just get these guys a job But most importantly, let's find out what their lifetime wish is Super super excited and I definitely need to do something about walking around in their bathing suits I'm gonna fix that too, but let's first see what the fuck everyone is up to uh, uh, Actually first let me change the showers clean up and then we'll take a look Okay, so that problem is fixed. Now let's do a couple of the basic interactions. So we're gonna recycle this, recycle that. I there was just a lot that I kind of want get want want to get done <laughs> um, before I do anything. So let me just make sure that everything is decently okay. Everyone has somewhat of a task. So um, yeah, I think. I think we're fine. I think we're actually fine. Wonderful. Now let's start with the last sim and let's see what the fuck he's all about. So obviously he doesn't know what he wants yet, so I'm not even gonna bother with that. But let's see his lifetime wish. He wants to become a criminal mastermind. Okay. Well, in that case, I am gonna have him get a job. Yeah, I told you guys, once a teen, well, once they become a teen. <laughs> Daisy wants to become a business tycoon. Let me take the job. So she wants to be the best in the business career. So once again, <laughs> money. Dan, oh, what does Dan the man want? Oh, he wants to be a chef. Nice, Dan. He wants to become, and, and I don't put it that. Leon wants to... Let me get this. Yes. Leon has nothing? Huh? To reset his aspiration meter. Uh, randomize. Hopefully it does only the- oh shit. Um, change. What's, what, what, what's his name again? Plop. Okay, there we go. He wants to have 20 simul- Wait. You know, we we did not we did not see this, so it doesn't count. There we go. He wants to go into the journalism career. What a nice job for a fine boy. Our last girl or last one wants to have 50, de 50 dream dates. Uh, I it's not really career related, but I'm gonna let it be. She probably just looked at her mom way too much and was like, oh okay so let's just give her a job that i'm like whatever right <laughs> so entertain entertainment and that kind of entertainment winky winky all got jobs now which is perfect we're gonna just why are we so why what yeah just no and now there's just this whole list of makeovers and <sighs> Okay, so I do have a bunch of clothing. Um, so this is Mara. I think Mara should wear something like oh, that looks good on her. Okay, I'm sold. That's what Mara is going to wear. Unless I have some pants too and some yeah, no, 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 the dress, the, the, the dress, that's the one. And then I guess I should also get a mirror and change her appearance a little. Well, not a little bit. I mean, a fuck lot, let's be honest. But yeah, I'll probably off screen do like every outfit. But honestly, it's a lot of people and a lot of clothing and a lot of things to go through. So perhaps not. But the good thing about having so many kids is that you have a bunch of outfits. Okay, so she's actually not ugly. She's actually not ugly at all. But she just needs some custom... like those lippies. Lips, lips are very luscious. I want to... I want to put her in some makeup that, that that will change her and then change her hair. I think a different hairstyle is what she needs as well. Just look at this. Do you see what a different hair can make to a sim? Perfect. And, if, okay, and Daisy, Daisy is wearing, you know, that's actually a pretty Daisy outfit. <laughs> if I had to imagine a Daisy, that's what she would be wearing. Maybe some of them are going to date with each other. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> oh boy, can you imagine? Daisy's kind of cute too. Um, you know, they're, they're actually not bad looking for combining CC with some base game stuff. I, for some reason, why does she remind me of me? Hmm, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing for her, not for me, because I don't, 
She actually does suit this hairstyle as well. I, I probably shouldn't. But I, most girls have the same kind of hairstyle, you know, when they're this age. At least in my school, everyone kind of had the same hairstyle and then the same clothes and the same boys. You know, that's kind of how things go in uh, high school. Sharing is caring. You know how that goes. She's beautiful. See, just a different hairstyle made all the difference. Fuck, she is beautiful. And what about little Daisy here? The fuck? I hit the jean jackpot. What can I say? My sims are pretty. My sims are beautiful. <laughs> we don't even, oh, what? They're, they're beautiful. Oh, her hair. Oh, of course her hair changed because she's going to work. I was like, what the heck just happened? Alright, so our girls are beautiful, beautiful, but what about our man? What about our, our boys? Are they just as pretty? Are they just as gorgeous? This is not the hairstyle for you, boo-boo. He doesn't look that bad anymore. Let's give him some. Oh, that's what they needed. They just needed a little bit of love, no? Oh my lordy. Need to plan an outfit. Can you guys just go here? That would, that, that would be good <laughs> okay so oh already i'm gonna get so many of these aren't i the cheap imitation industry is a cutthroat one in a sim city and craig's turf has been overtaken by the local underground retail mafia displaced he is left to scout out some new territory should craig risk getting busted at a high profile spot in the red sea shopping district or should he choose a street corner closer to the town's farming outskirts i'm gonna go for red sea not sure um, a local crime boss notices his skill and he he already got a promotion? <laughs> fuck. Fuck, a fuck, a fuck boy. A fuck, a fuck, a fuck, a fuck boy. Okay, great. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, that's cool. Are there, are there any different colored beanies? I, that's, I like the white one better. Oh my god. But he needs to. I think compared to the rest of the family, Leon was not in front with Jean Poole. Where is this Craig? Who is this even? Oh, he looks like an old man. He doesn't even... Hmm. I... I... <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> oh, you touch my tralala. -la, but at least Leon likes it, so... Hey, if he likes it, it's his face, right? It's... Oh, but he looks so cute. <laughs> Oh, I like him. I love the long hair. I'm gonna keep that. What about a beard? Yeah, I don't... No, he looks cute like this. Oh, he looks like a cute little man. Oh, does he... Have you guys seen Stranger Things? Because he looks like he comes straight out of Stranger Things. Almost all of my kids are fortunate. Almost all of them. Like I said, not all actually all of them. <laughs> Oh, another one. Oh boy. Mara Leona is in the middle of somewhat amusing joke about airplane and uh, about airplane food, actually, when a heckler from the audience hurls a half eaten ear of corn onto the stage. Knowing that this could make or break the whole act, Mara Leona has to make a quick choice. Should she throw the corn back at the heckler or pick it up and make a corny joke? Oh, I hope hopefully she's funny. The joke is followed by 20 seconds of extremely awkward silence until people start standing up to leave. <laughs> she picks up the cord and delivers a one-liner about cord, motorcycles, and a blind chihuahua. Oh boy. Guess not everyone is meant for things like- What, what, if, what if we scope the room? Because technically we don't- Like we could be- What if we like each other's kids? Oh, that would be disturbing. Let's see, let's see, let's see if that's- are you telling me? <laughs> Goals. <laughs> well, I'll just uh, probably stick around here and make a couple, take a couple of uh, thumbnails. Um, oh, Muhu in bed. Okay, well, we can do that. Let's Muhu in the bed. You know, get some extra points from our life elixirs because we're going to need it. Oh, and Dan. Oh, I almost forgot about Dan. Okay, let me see. Does Dan need a makeover? Oh, actually, I actually like Dan. Dan, you're lucky. <laughs> Dan is lucky. Dan doesn't, you know, maybe Dan. Wait, didn't I say there was a thing with Dan and Daisy? 
Oh, they are good. Where is she? Where? Where even the fuck? Where is she? She? Oh, there she is. Scope the room when there's someone in the room that's not your family. I wonder if that's a thing. So you, if we go in here, we should be able to scope room. Is that how this works? I'm just so confused as to why it works sometimes and why sometimes it it, it doesn't work. See, now it'll work again. Well, there's an easier way to do this. We could just check him out. Oh, wait. Oh, scope room. Okay, okay, hold on. Maybe Mara and Leon. Oh boy, Mara likes Leon. But do you not like Craig? Let's check out Craig. Oh, okay. No, she likes Leon. Okay, it's probably the porn star. <laughs> Nobody out of all the kids likes each other. Only Daisy and Leon. Not Daisy. Oh, that's disturbing. Mara and Leon. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> and anyway, anyway, I'm gonna end this part here. I uh, want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.